episode of Rose and Golds. I'm your host, IK, and this is our lovely co-host, Dr. Rose. Welcome on, everyone. We're going to get straight into it because we know what you guys are here for, the hot topics, the hot topics that are hot indeed. Dr. Ross, what do we have in the news? So first of all, we want to mention Happy Mother's Day. To all the mothers out there, I can I's amazing mother, to our grandmother, to some of the celebrities that we mentioned daily, one of them being Miss Pretty Nell. Keep being a plan. Miss Kelly Ripper. That's in right. my head. You grew up with all. Miss Kelly Pickler. Who? And if we didn't mention your name, we have love for you. Larsa Pimpin. Exactly. To all the ladies out there, happy Mother's Day. Miley Cyrus, Dolly Parton, we don't even know if they are mothers, but still, happy Mother's Day. And with that, let's get into our Hot Topics and She's Hot Contest win. Speaking of, our winners for this week are none other than all of the ladies. And by that I mean mothers, because they really do deserve it. Exactly. This goes out for everyone, as Dr. Ross said, worldwide. Congratulations once again on your win for the She's Hot Contest. And let's get into our hot topics. That's right. So first of all, we want to mention IK, as you can see, is now in a row. He's in a row because he just finished a modeling shoot, so stay tuned for that soon. But let's get to these hot topics. We've got some exciting topics for today. Starting off with, this should be the last topic about him. We've spoke about him on so many previous Rose and before, as you all know, Diddy. Okay. So Diddy had recently filed a claim, and we're gonna put all the paperwork right here. He filed a another lawsuit to the sexual assault lawsuit that's put against him, saying that he feels that it should not be valid because it is past the time, the time frame. And he's saying it took too long to file it, so it should be relevant. And he's demanding that they dismiss it from the courts. What are your thoughts about this, IK? There's one thing I give Diddy on this. Cassie set up this case where she still got money. So, in all reality, Diddy can slip through the noose with that. But, they're still going to get him with other avenues. Because they haven't spoke about the freak-offs yet. That's and all true. the camera footage, along with the mule that they found. Or got from Diddy, so. And allegedly, 50 Cent has been saying that he, that um, Diddy is allegedly involved in some type of murders and he said, or we don't know if that part is true, but it's all alleged right now. So Diddy, it's shaky waters for you right now. That's right. A big one going around is that Diddy actually murdered Tupac. And Biggie, allegedly, that he had some part in getting them taken off. Now, we can't confirm the validity on these, but Diddy, if they get you on this, it's not going to be a good life in jail. Mm. Let's get into our next Allegedly. hot topic. Allegedly. Yes. Right. Let's get into our next hot topic. Once again, we have another one that's hot, and everyone on Twitter, everyone on, well, I guess it's now called X, everyone on the internet has been losing their minds over this, but we all knew the truth. We knew the truth for a very long time. So... Next up is Drake. So Drake was actually, he had a video surface online from when he was 23, 24, doing a concert where he brought a 15 year old, 16 year old, 15, 16 year old girl on stage. We're gonna put the video right here. What's your name? Where are you from? Y'all make some noise for Tia. Where are you from? Where are you from?
So I know there's a lot of rap fans in here and shit like that. Man, I'm a man right there, I see what's up, man. I'm a man right here, my man keeps saluting me over there. You know, I see y'all, man. My nigga up there, man. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up. All my rap fans in here, right? But I just want to know if you think maybe for like the women in Colorado, I should just take one opportunity to sing one song. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ross. Our camera didn't record this part, so I'm just here to spread up the news because there's a lot of people that haven't seen the full video. This is the full video on YouTube. It's not like the clips. This is everything in the video. As well as a lot of people don't know that she actually responded. This is a photo of her now. Um, her Instagram is Tia Jaded. I might be mispronouncing that, so it's about to pop up on the screen here. But she did respond to the video that's circling around now. She said, regarding the video that's going around, I was 17 back then and I'm 31 now. This was a concert that my dad took me to back in high school. Drake's entourage actually picked me out of the crowd of people, not Drake himself. By the way, performers always bring up fans on stage. It's part of their show. It was nothing then and still nothing now. Now that I've cleared up these false narratives, I'm going to I'm going to go back and study for law school, exams, wish me luck. So first off, just from the Rose and Gold team as a whole, we just want to say from IK and I, from the whole team, we just want to say good luck on her exams, first of all, and keep going towards that law school. We've been hearing a lot of different people comment and say what they have to say. People were saying Drake probably pays for her law school, just very ludicrous accusations, but this is the nitty gritty. A lot of people have been asking what is Kendrick Lamar referencing to in a lot of his recent diss tracks. Holding like a bitch, ain't you tired? Trying to strike a chord and it's probably a minor. What are these other rappers referencing to? And this is just one of the moments that we've seen. Um, Drake has, is not new to this. We all saw when he was dating the 18 year old model beforehand that he knew since she was 16. Um, we also saw where he was texting really, really, interesting text to uh, Millie Bobby Brown that was never confirmed though they were just friends and what about your relationship with Drake tell me about your friendship how uh, did this all come about I love him I met him in Australia and um, he's honestly so fantastic and a great friend and a great uh, great role model you know we text we just text each other the other day and he was like I miss you so much I was like I miss you more he's coming to Atlanta so I'm definitely gonna go and see him I'm so excited yeah what advice does he give you like what does he say uh, about boys he helps me what? yeah 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 he's great he's wonderful I love What's him his advice with boys? you know that stays in the text messages <laughs> <laughs> what about your relationship anyways the only thing that we have to say for this is regardless it just wasn't right Drake was 24 in that video and clearly she was 17 he asked her age he knew how old she was he can continue to be inappropriate, touch her inappropriately, uh, make inappropriate comments about her body, and I just don't feel that that's right. And her father being there, he, I don't think he would have been able to say anything because, you know, it's Drake, it's a big celebrity, you're at a concert, but um, that's just our personal viewpoint about it. Another thing is if we've all heard how Drake responded to the video saying that he would never be caught looking twice at a teenager or something like that along those lines in a diss track back to Kendrick Lamar. And we personally just want to say, again, you knew her age. You could have just gave her a hug and said, enjoy the show tonight. God bless you. Anything that he wanted to say. And he proceeded to very, very, you know, flirt with her, touch her, talk about her body. Even after he asked her on stage publicly, how old she was, she said her age, he continued to do this for about like 10 minutes. So it's not looking good for Diddy. I mean, not Diddy, Drake. <laughs> they're, they're in the same boat at this point. It's never looking good for Diddy, but it's as, not looking good for Drake right now. <laughs> as Diddy said in the video he sent us, damn.
Stop the cooning and buffoon. That's right. We're Stop gonna, the cooning and buffooning. We're gonna have to take from his words. Who knows? Maybe Drake was a avid enjoyer of the Diddy freak ups. Mm. That's all a legend. We don't know about the validity on that as well. But we'll keep you posted. That's right. After that video surfaced, actually, it had so many other celebrities coming forward and saying what dirt they have on Drake and making diss tracks and all of the etc. So this is turning into another spiral how Will Smith's slap at the Oscars revealed so many other secrets that were happening. So we're gonna keep you all updated on that. Make sure to comment down below what you think about the Diddy Hot Topic and the Drake Hot Topic as well. Tell us what you think about it personally. What do you think what allegations do you feel are real? What allegations do you feel are not true? But we'll never really know. Cop cop cooning and buffoon. That's right. As they say on the wall, white face, black face. That's all we have to say. <laughs> and with that, let's get into our next hot topic with JB himself, oh, Justin Bieber, Justin straight Bieber. from Ontario, Canada. Dr. Ross, what's in the news with Justin Bieber? So we recently actually, and I was just about, well, yes, we recently saw um, Justin Bieber's photo where he posted on Instagram um, a crime photo of himself and then his wife replied to the Instagram post saying that he was a pretty crier. We don't really know what that was all about, but this is the real hot topic. Hailey Bieber is announcing that she and Justin Bieber will be welcoming a child. We're gonna put the photo right here. What do you all think about this? Um, put the comments down below because it looks like their relationship was already in turmoil before the baby. I don't really think the baby is gonna heal the wounds that the, their relationship has, but, and it never does, but. Weren't they just talking about divorce last week? My personal opinion on this, and I know it's going to sound harsh for a lot of people, but this is incredible spin control. First oh, off, yes. Justin Bieber was just saying that he was going to get a divorce. Then, to add on top of that, he was at the, not the freak-offs, but they were saying Puffy allegedly... Flavor Camp extravaganza. Exactly. Might have Flavor Camp's the big old JB. So... Justin Bieber is kissing on people who are definitely not his wife at Coachella, but what happens at Coachella stays at Coachella. That's right, let's get into the specifics. JB was spotted with the Jaden Smith, the JS. What's wrong with... Let me know. Do we think So, oh, speaking about the flavor camp, how the waters have turned. IK, I don't know if you've seen this on the internet yet. It's been circling everywhere. It just popped up. Remember the Camila Cabello, the one that, that was um, spotted and dating with um, Sean Mendez all the time? She was out and about spotted with Lil Nas X. <laughs> First off, Hollywood. Mm. Second off, they always say the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. But she went for the wrong one in this case and went straight to the flame camp. I don't know <laughs> what happened with her sort of logic on this, but who she really meant to go for was I Ken. That's right. These were all of our hot topics, but we'd like to mention some of our dear friends, starting it off with Miss Pretty Lou now. And also, Mr. D.K. the Groover, a.k.a. Randy Green. We'd also like to mention Mecha Macha, Sakari Ramen, Anvil Tattoo, as for Mr. Waylo, Cat Tattoo, as for Miss Sherry, Anvil, not Anvil Tattoo, but Yank Apparel. That's right. And if we didn't mention your name, we've got love for you. We'd also like to mention one of our dear friends' channels, United, United But Divided. Make sure to check them out. Right and along with that, Skittles, Twix, Hershey's, Mars, Frito Lay. Little Deborah turned Big Deborah. Exactly. Little Debbie's, if you don't know exactly. Back at the white face for that. These were all of our hot topics, but for Kylie Jenner, make sure not to forget Skims and Cocoa Nuts. 
And the one that's the one that's flipping Scott Disick out right now. The one that's no. chasing um, Travis Travis around everywhere. The one who's allegedly giving all the people she knows her breast milk. Oh my God! We don't know about the validity on that one either, but still. We have the photo on that one. There's no question about it. There's the video. <laughs> now, our that's question, it. our question with this is, was the breast milk good? One question, Corey. I know you're giving out the breast milk in a large supply, but can you use it on Cocoa Puffs, Reese's Puffs? Drink what your mama gave you, maybe? Wait, oh my God! Wow! Lips are for kids. Yeah. Yeah.